Hello, and welcome to another Havoc Suns video. Oh yeah, it's the exciting ones. Today we're looking at the Tandy 1000 SX. The release date of the SX was in 1987. It ran at 8088, 7.16 megahertz, and uh, it could run a Mathco and built-in Tandy graphics. The Tandy 1000 SX was probably, well, was not probably, was definitely the most sold Tandy com computer uh, in history. It far outsold any of the earlier TRS-80 models and even the quite popular Tandy 1000 TX. She was a very robust machine. Um, if you wanted to run a hard drive on it, because it didn't come stock with a hard drive, your only option was this hard card. And this is actually a Tandy model hard card with the standard Seagate ST125. She's a 20 make hard drive. Now, uh, what I did with this hard drive is I RLL'd it, which just means I ran a controller that uh, basically tightens up the sectors. I don't need to get all specific, but what it does is it reformats the hard drive from a 20 meg to about a 33 megabyte hard drive. This is also running an internal uh, tan original Tandy modem. I think that's a 1200 baud modem. And um, it is currently my test machine for my BBS that I'm making that I'm running off of Magic Jacks. Um, I'm going to have that uh, BBS online here pretty soon, and it will have six individual phone numbers that you can call into. And it's going to run um, pretty much just like a BBS did at the time, bullet board, bulletin board service did at the time of this computer's release. So the this machine is quite easy to upgrade um, all of its... Uh, chips because it's not like the HX where when you slide the case off uh, your CPU and your math coprocessor are sitting right there those two um, and then I don't know if you can see it but right there that little black spot right there is my clock again it still te keeps time it's off about 20 minutes a year and uh, each year it increases uh, I, I, I I probably, you know, I haven't really calculated it precisely, but I notice I lose a couple more minutes every year. So that's telling me that the battery is definitely running down. Now, I did another video earlier, I think it was Inside the HX, where I talk about the two different types. There was a Series 1 smartwatch, um, and then there was a Series 2 smartwatch. All of these machines that can take the smartwatch, all of my Tandys, have the Series 2. And they're basically two batteries uh, stuck inside the Dallas chip. And what those batteries do, it's the same voltage, 3 volts, but what they do, because they're kind of like piggybacking, uh, almost like a golf cart, you know, the way a golf cart works, where they piggyback one 6-volt battery off of another, and it isn't so that you get more power, it's just that you get more time. So when you're out on the golf course, that battery or that golf cart's going to last, you know, the whole time you're out there. It's the same scenario with the Series 2 uh, watch battery. Having them two like that makes these uh, watches, well, I mean, we're 30 plus years and they're still going strong. So you do get a lot more time uh, with these type of uh clock batteries and you know I'm just gonna keep them until they finally go dead I want to see how long I can go on them and every uh, every once in a while periodically I uh, go in and reset the time also you see this can at WD-40 right here and I use this can with the nozzle spray type and what I do periodically about every six months is I will let's see if I can move this tripod a little so you can see Right down in here is that center. Oh, my fingers in the way. Let me point at it with the WD-40. Right down in there is the center bearing. I just what I do is I, I 
initially you can use q-tips and you dab it a few times if as, as I notice as drives get older the WD-40 q-tip application doesn't work as well so then what I do is I go ahead and give it one quick burst with the nozzle spray WD-40 and that seems to work much much better this uh, hard drive was suffering, suffering from stiction really bad and I just shot it and I haven't tested it yet let's take a look what it does oh I can already tell I can hear it that it's working and the monitor is right here and it's sitting on its side But I can already tell that it's, you can, they make it just, it's not as loud as it used to be now that I've sprayed it. And there you go, there's your boot. Now, um, the, the SX has five slots you can see them there the hard card usually fits one slot over because the smartwatch which is right down there um, gets in the way so you have to move it over if you're gonna run the smartwatch um, it really isn't a problem because I'm not adding a lot of cards to this uh, I did add a 720k floppy drive. It did come stock originally with two 360ks. This is the floppy drive is programmable um, for 720k in the SX setup, which is on disk. It's there is no bias control for any of the Tandy 1000s. So here basically is the inside of my Tandy SX, the most sold Tandy computer the Radio Shack ever carried. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, you have a great day and a better life. See ya.